Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is making a gorgeous set of geode resin coasters. She's doing a little experiment on low viscosity resin versus high viscosity resin, so it's going to be done in two parts. These first two coasters are going to be made using low viscosity resin, and after she mixes her part A and part B resin together well, she separates it into smaller cups to add the pigments. The first pigment she's going to be using is an alcohol ink by Deepon in the shade Mocha. She adds a few drops into her cup of resin and mixes it together well. Next, she'll be using Liquitex acrylic ink in the shade Turquoise Deep. And the last pigment she'll be using is Just Resin's Pigment Paste in the shade Titanium White. She mixes the pigment paste in the container before taking a small amount onto her wooden stick and mixing it into her small cup of resin. Once all of her pigments are mixed and ready to go, she starts with the mocha pigmented resin and pours it along the edges of the mold. Then she grabs the turquoise deep pigmented resin and pours it right alongside where she poured the mocha. Then she takes her white pigmented resin and pours it several times around the mold. Now she takes her cup filled with clear resin and she pours it directly into the center of her mold. She uses a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and when using a torch gun, make sure that you move it in a very quick motion so that you don't burn your silicone molds or your resin. I sped up some clips so that you can see how the pigment moves towards the center of the mold. With a small spoon, she adds some crushed mirror into the middle. After this piece was complete, she waited approximately 10 minutes to begin her next one. The resin will be thicker than when she poured her first mold, so the effects in these two coasters will differ. She begins with pouring the turquoise pigmented resin along the edges of the mold. Next, she pours the mocha pigmented resin right alongside the turquoise. And again, she pours the white pigmented resin several times around the mold. And she pours her clear resin into the center. And adds her crushed mirror in the center as well. And here's a clip of my mom demolding the two coasters the next day. Now she'll be recreating those same two coasters but with high viscosity resin.
After she mixes her resin together, she separates it into smaller cups and adds all of the same pigments that she mixed in previously. And she pours them in the same order, starting off with the mocha pigmented resin along the edges of the mold. Then pours the turquoise pigmented resin right alongside the mocha. And just like last time, the white pigmented resin goes several times around the mold. And she pours her clear resin right in the center. In her second mold, she'll be pouring her turquoise pigmented resin along the edges of the mold. Before she began pouring in her second mold, again, she waited approximately 10 minutes. Followed by the mocha pigmented resin. And lastly, she pours her white pigmented resin and right after, pours her clear resin into the center. If you're interested in purchasing any of these products that you see in this video, I'll have Amazon affiliate links in my description, so be sure to check that out. And here's a clip of my mom demolding these two coasters with the same technique but with high viscosity resin the next day. And here are all of the coasters together. The ones made with high viscosity resin are the two on the very top, whereas the coasters with low viscosity resin are on the bottom. It's really interesting to see how just waiting 10 minutes between the two low viscosity resin coasters as well as the two high viscosity resin coasters can make a difference in the effect. 
and especially interesting to see how using high viscosity resin versus low viscosity resin also makes for a huge difference in what your coasters end up looking like. Because of this, each coaster has a different effect, which is really cool to see. After she added a top coat, here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video subscribe to see more videos like this in the future follow me on my instagram summer girl designs and my mom's instagram wild heart resin art